Hey guys, welcome to Friday, and we are doing our final test from the last cycle, which is a big one, our back squat, right? So last week we built up to a heavy single, okay? So hopefully you have a goal going into this. Always listen to your body. For the stronger athletes, your one rep max is not always in the cards, okay? We wanna focus on safety first, okay? Listen to your body, and don't do too much volume as you're warming up, right? Um, we wanna to get to doing singles as quick as we can. And generally speaking, if you're going for a PR, you don't wanna match your old PR. You're gonna go slightly under, maybe 95, 97%. And then from there, depending how that feels, you jump to your PR attempt, okay? So remember, setup is really important. This is not just how strong you are, but it's making sure that you hit technique properly when you go for that lift. So treat every rep in your warm up like it's a heavy single PR attempt. So good grip. Squeeze the bar the entire time, okay? Engage your upper back. I always say this, don't be like this, okay? You wanna engage the bar, okay? Make sure it feels nice and strong in your back. Stand straight up, take a step back, set your feet, big breath. And then come out of that hole as aggressively as you can, okay? Leave no doubt that you get below parallel. You wanna make sure you have a good rep, okay? And when I'm talking about technique, the main thing that I'll see here is a couple things. If it's really heavy, people might lose control on the way down, or they kind of go down a little bit too quick and then it crushes them at the bottom because the weight's so heavy and they can't get out of the hole. The other is, as they're coming down, the weight, their hips are going back, the weight might pull them forward a little bit. It's so heavy, right? And now it's pulled the bar in front of the center line and now they can't get the leg drive out of it because the weight's in a bad position, okay? Um, if you are not comfortable or if you never bail the bar off your back, this is an important skill to learn so you can really go for it so you're totally safe. Um, or you can always ask for a spotter if you want. But just to give you a quick example, if you want to practice at a submaximal load, what it's like to bail a barbell, it's very easy, okay? You're gonna squat as you stand up. If you don't make it, you just push your body forward, the bar goes the opposite direction, okay? What you don't want to do when it gets really heavy is to do a squat, right? The worst case scenario, you squat and it comes forward on you, okay? If you're scared of that at all, um, Ask for spotters, okay? If you've never done it, you can practice or just ask for spotters and they'll help you lift the bar up, okay? So that is our test today, guys. Good luck, make sure you log your scores. And then we have a workout after that. So our workout is gonna be um, hang power cleans, box jump overs, and burpees over the bar. So let me take the bar over here. So we've got hang power cleans, okay? That means hang starting from here. Power means we don't have to squat, so this should be a Weight that's moderately heavy that we can connect the movement from here. Okay, so if you watch what I'm doing, as I bring the bar down, it's kind of like a kettlebell swing. I load the hips back, and then I'm jumping and catching. Okay, trying to reserve that energy rep to rep. From there we have box jump overs. So you can go forward, you can go lateral. Main thing here is rhythm. So I'm gonna jump, I like to do a little turn, Step down, go again right away, okay? If you're really springy, you might stay lateral, okay? Main thing, just when you get to the box, you shouldn't stand up because that's a lot of extra energy going up and down, okay? Third movement is burpee over the bar. So you're gonna be lateral, so you're gonna go all the way down, two-footed jump over the bar. All right, and the reps are gonna start low and build over a 12 minute AMRAP, all right? After this, guys, we're gonna talk about two cool movements, kind of newer to our system, the Nordic, um, and some of the um, different tools that we have for you guys in part two today, so let's take a look. Hey guys, I'm happy to introduce you our Nordic Curl Bench. You may have seen these delivered to the gym recently. Uh, this is an awesome new tool for developing hamstring strength that relates to like sprinting, jumping ability, all right? Um, and this, um, is really hard to replicate any other way, right? We have put these in our mobility class, if you've been to any of those, but let me show you what it looks like. Number one, this bench can adjust. So the higher the bench, the easier it's gonna be. And then I'll show you how this progresses downward. But when you set up, you're gonna put your feet on the, the metal at the bottom, okay? And the goal here is to keep your hips completely open the entire time. Think your butt is squeezing and you're leading with the chest. <clears throat> okay, what you wanna avoid as you come down is losing control at the bottom. And then when you come out of the hole, avoid pushing with the hips first, okay? So you're trying to get good control, tap, 
and pull all through the hamstring, okay? So try not to break at the hip. As you get better with this, you can change the angle. So the dream would be that you'd eventually, I'm not super warm, let's see how this goes. Okay, this is about, this is the 25 degree angle. Okay, we're doing five reps at a time here. But again, set yourself up. Okay, good control. Okay, really unique feeling in the hamstrings. Awesome accessory drill, very excited. So have fun with this, start easy. Uh, focus on quality movement like always, okay? The hip extension, we've traditionally used the glute ham developer. So this is the traditional setup that we do. We only have two of these, right? So often we don't program it too much because it's hard in bigger classes, but I'll show you the new tool that we have to help with this. But feet go in, we're parallel to start, we come down and lift, okay? At the top, squeezing the butt, so again, Glute, ham, lower back, strengthener. This one's a little bit different. You can adjust the height of the pad here, okay? And the angle comes up here. So this one will feel a little bit easier because of the starting angle. I can also adjust the angle on this down here, okay? But again, nice setup. This, I get a bigger range of motion through the hip hinge because of the starting angle, okay? So this is really cool. I can make this harder if I go single leg. <laughs> Okay, so I can work one leg at a time. And for either of these, I can actually hold a dumbbell or a weight, okay, to add some weight to that position. So again, really focusing on the, the hamstrings, glutes, posterior chain. So good accessory work, guys. That's it for today. See you tomorrow.